Oh, so we're here. It is a nice, somewhat chilly Monday afternoon here at the Dragon's Lair. We are filming for HD. And we're getting ready to do some uh, shoulders, triceps. And on that day, I like to do at least one uh, chest movement, usually some sort of an incline, just because I do feel like that's still a weaker point. So I like to do just one exercise there. So uh, we are going to start with this side lateral machine. Um, when I was younger, I used to hate this shit, to be honest, this style. But now I know how to really contract it, how to work it. And I think it's this exercise specifically has helped my side delts the best. So we're going to start here. You got 70, 110, 90. No. What's happening? They... Somebody didn't put the numbers on, right? I think those should be swapped. So yeah, we're just gonna do a couple of warm-up sets. Probably do side laterals. I like to do a, a good amount of working sets. So we'll probably do two to three. See how this feels. I did uh, have cheesecake factory last night, so should be have a good pump. Good pump. Cheesecake plus variant equals amazing. I know I'm gonna do. I always just do a couple reps with it, just so the body kind of gets sens more resensitized to it. Instead of jumping right into it, let the body adapt, let the CNS system know what's coming. And with that heavier weight, your body will be able to contract it a lot better rather than you just going right into it. How Man, you feeling, bro? Well, so, hey, stay, stay. I was telling <laughs> you were guest pose and I would've came, I was supposed to come anyway, I was in. Wasn't having a good day. Um, it happens. Don't interrupt your workout. Good. Uh, before I leave, can I get a picture with you? Of course, brother. Right. Absolutely. You, and we got to do cheesecake on me. Let's do it. All right. I know. Hit me up. It don't matter, day or night. And Let's what do happens? It. The worst thing is, is at night time. Uh, yes. Very much so. Come out and chase you around the effing room. Either that or when you're alone. Yep. And then sometimes you can be around a million people. And then you feel it. All right. Yep. Trust me. I appreciate you. I didn't you. have no help back then. I didn't talk about it then, bro. Anytime, day or night. You can even say, hey, Flex, I don't feel like talking, but I can text. Because sometimes I'll text my boy, but I, I can't talk. Exactly. I'll, I'll I get, that's how I am. Yeah, yeah. All right. I appreciate okay. you. Yeah, of course.
Probably with the shoulder pressing. I can't, with the way it's done now, I can't go as heavy. But my shoulders have grown a lot more, you know. You really, you know, when it comes to weight, weight matters. Obviously, progressive overload matters, but you want to do it the safest way possible. I like to come down slow all the way. Slight pause in the hole and explode up. When I do this slight pause, I can contract it better like when I explode up, when I feel the shoulder explode up. Rather than just, that works, you know, for drop set maybe, you know, but when you're able to tax the muscle so hard within a set, I almost don't find like drop sets and all that really needed. I do like rest pause, only if I don't hit like a specific rep range. But like all that other stuff, if you're really training the muscle hard, it's, it's not really needed. This will probably be the working weight. So again, we'll touch it for a couple of reps just to get the body used to it. Chill out for a moment. And uh, ideally the goal would be to, you know, get like 10, 12. Yeah, that felt good. So we'll do that. You know, again, what I say isn't failure, it's probably failure to most people. So I don't know how to stop just shy of failure. Because to me, when I think it's not failure, it's just mechanical failure. Normally I go past failure. So it's still a failure where I still pied. Cause I just don't see the point, especially with the slow eccentrics, the pause. If you're taxing the muscle that hard, sometimes trying to get those extra few reps, I get it, it can be very beneficial as a new train lifting, uh, new, uh, someone new to the gym. Um, for someone right now, for me, as long as I still train hard, I don't necessarily need to pack on a shit ton of more muscle at this point. Just, like I said, more refinement and just improve in certain areas that I feel. This is not really training legs that much. Um, you know, hopefully the rest will allow them to grow faster when the time comes really look like they, the big heads and everything yeah. like they're inbreeded and everything so that's 100 percent what you spoke see about. i always wanted a a blue nose oh they, yeah 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 i yeah. love blue nose yeah i know i know i know i know they're beautiful you mind yeah of course bro that's an honor man you mind taking this you sure you know how to you know how to use the camera of course you sure <laughs> I'm gonna have to okay let me let me take the child I'm safety I'm off I'm of it. Need your help. no problem let me take the child safety <laughs> off and you'll be good no i'm just kidding brother I appreciate it, thank you. Let me get on this side, trying this to show off my new apparel. Hell yeah! My new clothing, brother. So we're gonna do rear doubts next, but someone's taking the pec deck. So we improvise. We're actually gonna do, we'll do another shoulder exercise, uh, pressing movement, I mean. We're doing more neutral grip.
So this pressing movement will keep reps a little higher. You know, good uh, 12, 15 reps. I think, you know, when you go heavy on one press, you don't necessarily need to go too heavy on the, the next one. So that was like the heavy pressing movement. This one will go a little lighter. Still intense though. Can I hop in, bro? Can I hop in? Delts, I definitely like to keep the reps higher for sure. 15, 20, you know, 12 would be the lowest, but I just always got a better response going higher reps for redoubts. Three more here, fifteen. Eighteen. 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 Oh. Woo. All right, now to end shoulders, we we'll use the arsenal side lateral. Um, we did go relatively heavy, I believe, on that. Heavy 10, 12. So, still gonna go heavy on these. Nothing too drastic. I just really wanna control the negative as good as I can and just get a nice squeeze at the top. Not so much worried about weight, just really worried about contraction here. You got the, I got the, I bought the, uh, the, the iPhone, the big. Apple ones? Yeah. yeah. I didn't know the things can, like, come off. I didn't know that. They came off my head by accident and one popped out and I'm like, oh my God, did I just break this shit? And I'm like, yeah, it literally stops on like a magnet. Yeah. I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I'm like, fuck me, man. I was so like about to freak out. 
I'm like, oh my God. These are like 500 bucks. I'm like, I broke it already? Had it for a week. Was good. I'm actually gonna go a little bit lighter for the next set. I really just want to control that shit hard. I do love my partial reps though. I guess it's time to get naked, you know? I think when you were matching, almost, just different color. A little bit. I didn't know you were with HD, bro. Eight. 
mine. Uh. bitch with one plate but the thing is I'm just trying to target tricep only people will rack this shit up they're hitting everything I just just want to hit the try Now we're gonna end with a nice incline chest movement, which will be the incline flex machine. Now we'll just do a one set of uh, dips. Just bang out as many as we can. As a wrap for today's shoulders, biceps, a little bit of chest pump workout. Uh, strength is coming back. Pretty solid for the uh, upper body. You know, I am one of those bodybuilders that tend to lose strength toward the end of a prep. 
That's all right. I think it's normal. I don't lose size, so whatever. Um, but now we're coming back full force. Um, you know, obviously not really training legs. I emphasized that already, but it's fine. You know, I don't think it's going to hinder me in any way. If anything, you know, I, I always believe things happen for a reason. And I believe this was a blessing in disguise for, you know, take, let the legs rest. Then they'll come back and just blow the fuck up. So that's where my head's at. Overall, we have a good mindset. I'm, I'm happy enough that, you know, I can train upper body. I can train or I can do quads very lightly, just like extensions. Thankful I can do cardio. You know, it's, this is gonna be a, you know, a long recovery, you know, cause it's, there's no bruising or anything, but it's still pretty, there's still some inflammation and I don't exactly feel comfortable training it really. You know, slight blood flow just from like the cardio and stuff, but um, you know, I have done like very, 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 very light, like see the leg curl just to put some blood into it, but it's, you, you still just feel that pressure. Um, not exactly pain per se, but just pressure. So I just rather not and risk it, you know, it makes me nervous. Um, but yeah, other than that, you know, we're good. We feel good. Um, pre-workout, very happy with the pre-workout. I don't think I've really talked about it since it really came out. Um, I'm very thankful for all the love and support that you guys have shown it. It means you guys love it, not just love me, but you love the pre-workout. Um, flavors taste great. I'm very happy with the flavors and it works. I mean, I'm not like one on huge stems, but obviously I've used it because it's mine. And it's not a crazy type of stem. It's just like a good flow of energy that just kind of just stains throughout the workout and then subsides without like a, a crash really. But the pumps are just dramatic for me when I use this product, um, you know, so I'm very happy with it overall. I'm very thankful that you guys are happy with it overall. And I'm pretty sure we will have new flavors in the mix down the road. So that is it. Thank you guys. And we'll be back for more down the road.